mm, everything about this <laughs> doesn't look good. You know, I thought I was gonna like get all dolled up and put makeup on and I was like, bitch, I have a six month old, I am too tired for makeup, but I have good lighting and I'm like, do I really want good lighting with the bustedness of this face? But like the room lighting isn't very good. I like half ass tried with the background. You guys, I'm a mess. I was like, I need to have like witty and relatable things to say in this video and I just don't have the brain space. I'm like, I'm gonna make a list of everything that I wanna talk about, but then I'm like, I have been putting this video off since December. Like I was planning on doing it in December so I could get like my best of 2018 vape stuff out of the way before the new year and I didn't get to it. So if you don't like like sit down talking videos, like I'm gonna be vaping intermittently just trying to appease like my vaping crowd, but this is really just like a like an update vape and chat, like what the future of my channel, like hence the clickbaity title, what the future of the channel is gonna be and um, just kind of go over like what I've been going through and like why my channel has been the way it's like literally like my life right now okay and so if you don't want to hear about my personal life then please click away and don't leave your sassy ass comments in the comments below because I'll just ban you just automatic block I just don't I can't I have I can't okay we just gotta start we just gotta jump into it so I'm gonna the first thing bam vaping on the crown kit the crown four shit i don't even know if this is a crown four i don't know but i love it i believe this is the crown four kit and um as you guys can see i've been vaping it since i got it and i don't use my all-in-one anymore which i still would love an all-in-one i just need a, a new better one than the one i've been using but i love this so that's saying something because i've been using all-in-ones for i think three going on four years now since the any box came out but this crown by ul is my absolute favorite and i've been going back and forth between my own flavor cloud kiss which you can get for 20 percent off at bonsaivapor.com using my code t at 20 you're welcome it's a strawberry cake batter it's so good and if you guys want me to do a second flavor with them let me know in the comments below because that was something i was thinking of doing originally but like my life got super crazy and then i've also been doing um caramel apple muffin by folly liquids because it's just so freaking delicious and i found that over the fall and it, i've been in love with it ever since okay so i'm not i'm still not ready sorry this is like raw uncut very slightly edited probably no script we're just going off whatever i can pull out of my mom brain Okay, I wish this was vodka. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. My boob really hurts because it won't empty. I have to, I pump breast milk. I have to pump breast milk because my son does not latch on. The hospital kind of ruined that. And if you're like, hospital what? Because you're new here. But thank you for coming. Don't unsubscribe, <laughs> please. I promise it gets better, maybe. But, um, okay, so. If you've been on my channel, then you would know that my son was born with a severe congenital heart defect. So his heart was way messed up and it required a surgery within days of him being born. So he had his first open heart surgery at six days old. Then he had another unplanned open heart surgery uh, at 24 days old. And then he had another unplanned open heart surgery uh, a week later so like 31 days old and then he had a planned open heart surgery it was it was sooner than originally they wanted to do but like it was the, it was actually a planned procedure for before he was born at four months old and he is almost six months old now so he has had four open heart surgeries since he was born in July and I have been in Seattle at the Ronald McDonald house in Seattle ever since then and trying to just struggling to keep my channel alive and also be there for my son and i feel like if anyone blames me for kind of putting the channel on the back burner then that shows a lot more about you than me because i just want to be with my baby who i don't know if he's going to like live 
the, the next to the next day so like you can't blame me like I literally lived at the hospital like slept there ate the hospital food every day because I got free food because I'm uh, pumping my milk breastfeeding or pumping mothers get free food so I ate there the only reason I didn't shower there is because my husband forced me to leave the hospital to shower because I, he was like you need time away from the hospital otherwise I would have just I would have legit never left So that was, holy shit, I almost dropped everything. Why am I balancing stuff like that? I don't know, you guys, it's crazy. Anyways, I don't have a very good train of thought for this video. I'm back home, which is amazing. It's, oh my God, I was so homesick. I've never wanted to leave home. I am not a city girl. I live in a town. I've lived in a town my whole entire life that has three freaking stoplights. That's it. <laughs> and so moving to Seattle, was really really a huge culture shock for me but i'm back home and it's so great to be home but it's also really stressful because i'm far away from the hospital and scared shitless because my son still needs another open heart surgery so basically they send you home while he's stable enough and then he will decline and then i'll have to bring him in for another open heart surgery hopefully years down the road so please pray that my baby boy doesn't need any more medical intervention until like five years old that would be amazing that would be the dream right there but like he had to have his other surgery sooner so i don't know i'm living at my grandma's me my husband and my baby are at my grandma's house since like 2016 like the beginning like the end of 2015 beginning of 2016 and you would you guys would know this like if you're like subscribers for a long time of my channel i'm so sorry you're having to hear all this crap again but like there's a lot of new people so i just want to make sure they're they know like where i'm coming from so since late 2015 my husband and i have been trying to buy property and build a house because our entire relationship which we've been together for over seven years now we've lived in a single wide trailer and it had a garage built over it and a roof and a porch and an extra bedroom so the trailer was kept under a nice roof and kept like in somewhat good condition for its whole life but it's a single wide trailer like two bedrooms two bathrooms and not enough space for our our wanting to have like grow a family like we we started the process of like buying the land and wanting to build the house um, before we were pregnant but before we were pregnant before I got pregnant but like we were trying to get pregnant too that's another thing like we weren't trying to get pregnant before getting married but once we got married back in 2016 was it 2016 your girl has severe mom brain um after that then we were like trying to have a kid I wanted a baby so bad like I'm the only one of my friends that didn't have one but now I do and he's amazing so yeah we have been in that process since late 2015 saving all of our money paying off all of our debt like just trying to get things right so we could do this and have a house and have a baby and just like live the life you know like the all-american dream own a house have a kid like at least my dream since i was a little girl was like get married have a house have a kid like give my child everything i didn't have growing up because i grew up dirt fucking poor like you don't even know and so we got we like those two things like a baby and the house kind of collided at the same time and we we're like got this we could do this like this is a little stressful but we can do this and then we found out about literally like i don't know i've got to look back in my phone but i i think with if not the day after which i want to say it was the day after but within at least a week of us giving away our home we gave away the single wide trailer to um someone i actually went to high school with we gave it to them i was like if you can move it you can have it for free it's really good condition and they just had a baby themselves and they needed a home and so i was like okay you can like have it get it off the property so we can build our nice new home so literally within days of them hauling it off the property we find out about lucas's heart defect and that we were going to have to be or at least me but like my husband's not gonna leave me alone to go through this but like we were gonna have to relocate to seattle for at least six months while lucas had his surgeries and recovered from his surgeries and while he was in a very unstable 
um, time that he they didn't want him too far from the hospital because he would need to go like if anything happened which shit did happen because we ended up staying at the hospital pretty much the whole time he, they needed him to be close that way if anything happened he would you know it's we live three hours away from the hospital two and a half if you like speed and traffic is good but over a mountain pass too a mountain pass separates us so that kind of creates problems anyway we are back the house is not done and I mean if I'm gonna be really honest and try not to fucking cry I don't know if at this point we can afford the house because <laughs> my, my my dream house I mean I'm it's like slipping away and I don't want to like be like oh pay pay for me but like I went, we just went through some fucked up shit like we're still like still our son will always have this problem so it's like it's not even going away but my husband took his family medical leave from his job which is 12 weeks and then Lucas had to have another open heart surgery so he asked for an extension and they said nah you're fired so he lost his job because he chose to stay with us in Seattle versus leaving me to go back to work full time because it wouldn't be like his position is a position that needed to be filled they couldn't just put someone in it's like a key position you know of the of the company and so he lost his job but I was like don't worry I got this I got my YouTube like we can do this we can do this well Lucas ended up being in the hospital so much and being so Oh, what's the word <laughs> he's critically ill and they don't know why and his oxygen is so low and he's just doing so bad and he just kept declining and it was really scary and there was parts where I was like you know not there was parts I want to say there was parts where I don't know if my son was gonna live like the whole time I was like oh my god my son went under general anesthesia ten times before he was five months old he had four open heart surgeries, five heart catheterizations, which are still heart procedures. They just go in through your groin with um, little tools and through your neck and then fuck around with your heart in there. And so that is still a very risky procedure. So we had that five times, four open heart surgeries and one emergency abdominal surgery because when they were taking out a chest tube that drains um, the fluid and blood that accumulates around your heart and lungs after a surgery um, when they were pulling that out they pulled some of his omentum out and like I'll let you google what omentum is because I feel like I've talked you guys to death already about the situation but I just I just want people to understand like really what I went through and what I'm still going through to understand like why I kind of sucked at YouTube and you know I was pregnant for more than half of 2018 and that was a struggle to get people on to help me but like I didn't want my channel to die so I was like thinking of anything and anyone to come help me film the videos and show you guys the products and everything so anyways back to yeah our house is almost done finally and I, I mean like honestly I don't know if we're gonna be able to to keep it so that's that's kind of scary I know that I'll always have my grandma's house to fall back on as as long as you know she's alive which is great because she you know I love my grandma she has a huge house so like she has the space for us but you know we want our own house so there's always that like I won't my family and I won't ever be on the streets like that but you know we we've been working we worked so hard to get our house and then you know we wanted a baby so bad and just everything like <laughs> it's like at the beginning of 2018 my life was so awesome like YouTube was great I you know married to a great guy like not saying he's not a great guy but it's like it's been really trying on our marriage you know having a baby our house like getting our house underway it was all great and now it's like the beginning of 2019 and I'm like what, what is my life? It's completely different now. So yeah, any vape uh, companies out there want to sponsor me? <laughs> I could really use it. No shame at all. And that's why I want to do like my best vape companies of 2018. I'm not going to do like a best products because like I said, I was pregnant for more than half of the year so I didn't personally try a lot of stuff but there was companies who stuck by me sending me their new products through everything and those are and I've, then I had companies like literally drop me and say like you're no good for us anymore like you 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 don't benefit our company anymore like bye so like 
fuck you guys but like i want to make a best of for the companies that really had like you know integrity and loyalty and like you know they i came up with these companies over the last how many years have i been doing youtube vape youtube six years i think it was i didn't get to celebrate my channel anniversary because i was in seattle with my son in the hospital but i definitely do want to get back to doing videos maybe not as many as i could before because like i'm a mom now like i get no sleep i always am attached to the pump because i pump the breast milk around the clock so my son can have breast milk even though he doesn't like latch i still want him to have the breast milk because like i feel like that's you know i couldn't do anything to fix his heart and i was so powerless there but i can do my best and sacrifice to attach myself to a mechanical pump and suck out all my breast milk you know six to eight times a day every day which i've been doing and I'm proud of it. And if you don't have boobs or have never exclusively pumped for a baby, I don't want to hear your two cents. I am so glad to be home. And I, I have to get more organized before I do a video because I want to make good videos for you guys. I don't want to just out a video. Kind of like this one. I kind of feel like I'm just like, you know, I don't look good. The lighting's not good. I kind of tried to do like a cute background. Thank you, Maddie, for the backdrop. But I want I want it to be good, especially when I'm trying to like make my comeback. My comeback of 2019. Like, I want, it, I want to do it good because I have to. I have no other choice. I mean, like, no, I don't. Because I keep saying like, oh, I could get a real job, but... No, I really can't because I have to be there for my infant son who is medically fragile and takes medicines and has, you know, special care. He can't go to daycare. He can't be around sick children. Getting a cold for my son means a hospital stay. It means going back to the hospital. It could mean breathing treatments, oxygen, ugh, more surgeries. Like, it is, it's terrifying. I'm a germaphobe now. Hi, don't come for me. But, like, wash your hands. Don't hug me. Don't breathe on my kid. It's... It's a lot, guys. Like, hi, I'm completely different now than I was, you know. Me this time in 2018 and me this time and right now. It's two different people. I can't even, I can't even begin to explain it. But I mean, like, I'm also still myself, but um, also I'm a mom. And that changes everything. And I'm a mom of a sick child. And if anyone has anything negative to say about it, then you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Like, literally, that's you. That's not me. Like, I'm a mom, and I'm going to do anything for my kids. So, I, I hope there's other parents out there that can feel me. Like, and, oh, gosh, I, there's, like, so many thank yous. Like, that's why I want to make the best um, vape companies of 2018 and really give shout-outs to the companies who stuck with me through everything. But there's also a lot of vape YouTubers that I really want to thank, and there's so many, and I... I, this is something I definitely should make a list for so I don't forget anyone but like you know everyone who who shouted out my my GoFundMe when my friend made the GoFundMe for my when we first found out about my my son's heart defects so like you know all of them like suck my ma grim green ruby um you know Daniel like everybody and oh my god and when YouTube like literally so gave away the house found out my baby was having a heart defect got strikes on my YouTube channel that was so scary YouTube was deleting channels left and right it was a time and then all the YouTubers were like oh my god we gotta go to Vimeo and I was like I can't afford Vimeo at the time because I'm like oh my god I got I have bigger fish to fry with my baby inside me and Daniel from DJ LSB Vapes helped me he funded my Vimeo for me just you know just in case YouTube actually crashed um, our vaping channels we had another platform and Daniel helped me there and that was so amazing and uh, Jay Hayes he became a part of my patreon and also donated to my GoFundMe and then like everybody else who donated my GoFundMe Wendy Vapes has been an angel like there's just there's so many people in this community that have like come together for me and that that is just so awesome indoor smokers of course how could I forget like he is my main man he helped me even start this channel like without him there would be no uh, tea of apes I really really doubt it I mean I might have even still been a smoker without that dude so like I always thank him for my success on YouTube <laughs> yeah I mean there's just there's so many people I want to thank but like for sure, Jay, like, literally, t 
today, I think it was today, was it today that I discovered that? Like today he donated it to my GoFundMe and I was like crying and I'm like speechless. It was today. See, that's how bad my mom brain was. I was like, was that today? No, it was yesterday. No, it was today. It was yesterday, but like I found out today. But anyway, he knows if he's watching. I don't even know if he watches my videos. <laughs> Let alone watch this far in a video where I'm rambling so much. Um, what else? So yeah, I would like to come back. It's gonna be a minute, guys. Cause like, do you wanna see the room in which I'm living in at my grandma's? Cause I'm almost this much too embarrassed to show you. This much, I mean like, I'm this much too. I'm like, I might show you, but this much I won't show you. Like, I'm not showing you. <laughs> it's so bad. And that goes along with me wanting to um, create good videos for you. I don't think this is the time or place for me to do it right now, especially because if so We can kind of afford our house right now My husband has had his nose to the grindstone applying for every single job he can um, And he's gonna go to he's gonna try to join the electrician union, but that takes a really long time so he's Go, he'll do anything in the meantime while pursuing that so he has had his notice to the grindstone I'm like trying to line up vape sponsors like that's literally the only way and and also people buying my My vape juice, but I can only push that so much because you know you either like it or you don't So we are probably going to get the house this month. Hopefully, by God, we can get back on our feet. See, that's the great thing is like, that's why I'm not like so scared or worried is because we worked so hard before going into this process to pay off all of our debt and to save a chunk of money. And so I feel like, you know how people say like, oh, get your head above water. I feel like we're here, you know, but I'm not sure if the water's going up or down yet, but I feel like we're here. Like I could, like, I can still breathe through my nose, but like, it's a metaphor for how stressed I am. Who put me in charge of this stuff? I don't know. I feel like once we get into the house and I have an office, cause of course I'm gonna design a house with an office when my, my job is on the internet and like filming, sitting here, hi. Um, so we're going to do that, get into the house and then organize the office a bit. And then I feel like I'd be able to make good enough videos for you guys. So I want to do that. I might, if, depending on how long it's going to take to get into our house, I might do a couple here, but I'm just like, this room is so messy and so chaotic and I don't really have any sponsors. I've got like tons of products, but it's kind of older stuff because I've been so out of the loop with the vape world and I haven't been in contact with any companies recently because of what I've been going through. So I, I have stuff I could do videos on. It's just like not the new new because almost all the companies like were like, peace out to you. You know, you're pregnant, you're at the hospital, you're not doing videos, we can't help you. There's a few companies that did stay through everything, which they are the most amazing companies. Like that shows that they care about me as a person and not just what I can do for their company, which says so much more to me. Not to mention like I wouldn't, I wouldn't promote products that are shitty either. I did want to show you my son and show you how good he's doing. So if you've made it this far, you're lucky you get to see him. Not that I mean, I post a shit ton about him on Instagram on Instagram story. So if you follow me over there, then you'd see him. But um, I'll show a little clip from the other night when I was, I thought I was gonna f film. You're too little, you're too little, Whee! <laughs> Look, you see it, see it right there? Say hi to the internet. Weeb. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Another thing that sucks is I am like, I wouldn't say a wine snob because I don't think I have that many years under my belt, but like I liked to wine taste and try yummy wines and that was like my drink of choice and like I would love to have a glass of wine or a bottle of wine with my girls 
and obviously didn't drink while I was pregnant at all. So there was like, and then didn't drink right after he was born either because I was pumping so much to, to make a supply for him to eat. And so when I finally had a, a glass of wine for the first time after giving birth and after not drinking for at least a year, my face broke out in this really, really weird, like, rash but not a rash because it like went away it was like a flush i don't know it was like a sunburn it hurt it was really hot maybe i'll put the picture here maybe i'll be too embarrassed to who knows but literally that happens every time and i was like okay maybe it's just red wine because that's what i drank so i tried white wine it still happened i tried liquor clear liquor tried piss beer it still happened within like like two sips faces red like that and so you know, I can't even drink to like relax through all this stressful stuff. I mean, I don't smoke weed anymore. That gives me like terrible anxiety all of a sudden for no reason out of nowhere. But this was like a couple years ago. So that's something I'm used to. So it's like, what, what do I do to relax? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, before I left Seattle, I went and got a Manny petty with uh, Maddie and I felt guilty about taking that time for myself because I was away from my son for four hours What? Like I have a thought and I go for it and then I don't lose it because you know like I'm waking up at like Midnight 2 a.m. 4 a.m. 6 a.m. 8 a.m. Like my baby boy needs me <laughs> He sleeps in bed with us. We have an in the bed bassinet so it has like it's a little there's a little mattress pad and then it's like a metal frame with mesh around it so it's breathable but we can't like roll over on it i'd love to like cuddle and snuggle and sleep but like one he's a heart baby so he sweats so much so the the space is good but um so we don't get sleep neither is my husband and once my husband gets a job depending on his hours i'm definitely going to let him be the one sleeping through the night because I do YouTube so I can really like, you know, I can sleep when my son sleeps, but like there's so much to get done, like laundry and dishes and taxes. Oh fuck. I haven't done my taxes yet. And that gets me stressed out because I don't have an accountant because I can't afford one. <laughs> oh, you guys, my, what is my life? I came on here and I was gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna tell them like, I'll be back in the game like yeah but I just I don't have that energy right now so sorry so sorry but I, I did want to come on here and tell you guys that I will be back just hang in there <laughs> hang in there I mean like I know that it's kind of like once a channel dies on YouTube it's so hard to come back and I'm like oh fuck I fucked up but I didn't because I was there for my son and that's what is important. You know, that my my boy had his mommy. Like I can't I can't imagine a kid well actually I, I couldn't imagine doing it as a parent, but like being at the hospital for so long and seeing children whose parents didn't show up or would come by every couple days, like that was heartbreaking. Like as a parent of a child in the hospital, you're not allowed to go into anyone else's room, but I was like, my heart broke for the babies and the kids whose parents weren't there. And like, yeah, they may, you know, have, you, you don't know their story. They're probably working because that's all they can do to keep, you know, to keep afloat. But it's like, oh God, there's lots of, there's lots of ways that the hospitals and the state help people in, in that position. So I just feel like there isn't really a good excuse not to see your your baby in the hospital, in the ICU even. Like there was this little heart baby girl that was next door to us and the, they have, the rooms are single rooms, but there's a window so you can see into the other patient's room because sometimes the nurses have two patients. And we were in the ICU for like a month and on his second hospital stay and there was a baby girl in there that was a heart baby too because it's a it's a cardiovascular intensive care unit and i saw her mom like three times in the whole time we were there and i never left like i lived there like it was my apartment pretty much because <laughs> you know i never left hardly and someone was always there if it wasn't me it was doug we never left him alone and 
seeing that baby like cry and cry and cry while the nurse was busy or while the nurse was you know taking care of our son or it was just so devastating i was like can i go over there and snuggle that baby but like obviously not allowed so I was thinking of maybe doing like a series on my other channel about my experience um, in the hospital and like the real shit because like some fucked up shit happened to me. We had some issues like with some of the nurses there and some of the doctors like being there for so long it's just bound to happen right like but also it shouldn't because it's a children's hospital like they should be like on their best. I was. See, this is like, that's why I'm like, do, do I do a series? Should we do like the real tea and shade about being a parent in the hospital? Because I found other parents with issues too. Like, it's a great place, Seattle Children's Hospital. Thank you so much for what you did for my son. But like, some shit can go on behind closed doors and at the Ronald McDonald House too. I'll tell you what. That could be like a reality TV show living there. Holy crap. But also, I can't speak to that too much because I spent most of my time at the hospital. Also, this is an orange chair that I put some gold, another thing for Maddie on. This is my great grandma's chair. <laughs> now my grandma has it. She's like, do you want it for your new house? And I'm like, no, no. I don't have orange room. <laughs> Let's see what else. See, this is the point where I'm like, a list would have been helpful but like also I feel like not having a list and not being like prepared for the video shows you guys a more real me not that I've ever been a not real me but like this is if you were just sitting here next to me this is how it would be because there's no editing in real life you know you don't you don't have bullet points in real life when you're having a conversation with someone just shooting the shit but see Already, I feel guilty. I've been here for probably... Does my camera tell me how long I've been filming? No. But I've probably been sitting here for half an hour now talking to the camera. And then I have to kind of edit it. Or, like, I have to watch it to, like, cut out parts where I'm, like, mega stupid. And I already feel guilty for being away from my son for this long. Even though his dad is totally fine entertaining him. But, like, I just want to be with him every sec. He is almost six months old. And he is still small enough to fit into three month clothes and they're still like big on him depending on what brand you get so he's like a little guy he's like in the less than three percent for weight which is totally normal for heart babies but it's just like that just shows that like his little heart is just working double time he's only got one little pump and chamber you guys not two like a normal heart he's got one doing all the work and it's the one that's supposed to pump the blood to your lungs so that's like the easy working pump the one that pumps the blood to your body is like the the workhorse and he's only got the easy one for his body so okay guys i don't know if it's the mom guilt setting in or if i've actually said everything i wanted to say it's probably just the mom guilt and while i'm editing this i'll probably be like oh i thought of something i should have said maybe i'll just edit it in while i'm editing who knows you'll find out See, I, I told you guys I'd find something else to talk about when I was editing. Postpartum hair loss is real. It's bad. Oh, it's real bad, girl. Thanks for listening. This is Vape and Chat. Let me know in the comments below what you were vaping on during this video. Again, this is all I've been using my all day, every day, is this setup with just a few different flavors, but mainly my own. Cloud Kiss, and which you can get for 20% off using code TIA20 at BonsaiVapor.com. That's B-A-N-Z-A-I-V-A-P-O-R-S.com or um, Caramel Apple Muffin by Folly Liquids. Those have been my two, like, go-tos. But, of course, here and there I'll throw in a tank of something else, but mainly just those two for since I discovered the fall flavor. I think that was back in October? Maybe. I don't know. And no, my son is not in this room. I do not vape around him. I don't vape in the car with him. None of that. I hope you guys stick around. I'm very tired. It's, it's late.
but it's not that late but like ugh, I am I'm literally gonna edit this video in bed and maybe fall asleep because I'm so tired <laughs> I wake up from like sleeping for four hours and I'm so tired I'm like more tired I'm like how am I more tired I didn't oh fun fact I didn't drink coffee ever as an adult never drinking coffee in my life didn't need it tried to tried to get into it because like I wanted to be like all the other adults and like coffee 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 right never drank it until uh, I had my son <laughs> now I drink coffee I live off coffee so now I understand now I get it coffee is my lifeblood right now because I couldn't I mean I could but like ugh, be a lot harder to do without coffee okay guys I will return my next video will be the best vape companies of 2018 and I'll be explaining more in depth like which companies it is and like why I like them other than the fact that they stuck with me through the hardest the single most hardest year of my life and the single most hardest you know six months of my life like so Stay tuned for that video, and then after that, I should hopefully have some products, new products lines up, lined up, and hopefully some sponsors, like, hello, vape companies out there, like, I'm getting back in the game. I'm trying to, at least, or I will be, fuck. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Check the description box below to see me out, to see me outside of YouTube. <laughs> To find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. So if you want to see what else I do, you can check that out. I also have a Patreon that I am so sorry I've been ignoring. If you're part of my Patreon, I swear to God I'm going to get my shit together this month. It's just been so crazy. I have a Patreon where I do vape related monthly rewards. And I, it's actually it's the beginning of the year. So I'm introducing new e-liquids and mods and kits over there so if you want to check out my patreon you can check that below as well and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please learn how you can fight for your right to vape and as always i'm tia and thank you so much for watching through all of this bye guys all right time to edit rewatch edit and Hopefully I covered it all. Who knows? Mm. I wish this was vodka. <sighs> Why am I reaching for the freaking record button? Of course I drop it. I have a remote now. <laughs>